I'm here with uh, Balbriggan Tidy Towns and uh, we meet every Saturday uh, in Balbriggan here on our beautiful beach. And uh, one of our main tasks is, is litter picking and dealing with, with litter around uh, the town and the beach. And we're, we're here to support that the campaign is Stop Dumping on Us with Fingal County Council. So Balbriggan Tidy Towns has grown uh, massively over the years, like the town has grown. Uh, and we sort of have different groups. So we have our Saturday clean team that meets here, uh, as I say, every Saturday on the beach around 11 o'clock and volunteers are always welcome. We also have a, a gardening group that do a lot of our planting and pollinator. They meet generally during the week. We've a newly formed art group, which I don't know if you can see behind us, the artwork on the harbour, uh, they were responsible for that. And then we have Adopt a Patch as well. So some people adopt an area and uh, we, you know, we work very hard. So we probably have close to 50 or 60 active members um, at the moment and that, that's grown considerably over the last few years. We're a voluntary organisation and we're very happy to have new volunteers. We sometimes uh, look for new people to maybe come down for our, our beach cleans or our uh, uh, spring cleans. But uh, we also have, uh, if people like to join us on a more regular basis, um, here any, any Saturday 11 or contact us at balbriggantidytowns at gmail.com. Give us your details and we'll fix you up with an area to, to work from. Uh, you can also contact us on our Facebook page um, so, or private message us there as well. And we're always delighted to have uh, as many people as possible involved. So I suppose in our years of experience with, with Tidy Towns, we probably see maybe four different types of littering. Um, so we have the casual litterers, you know, people who just drop a cigarette packet or a can of Coke or something like that. And again, that's very avoidable and we'd love to see people change their habits there, maybe working with kids and, and that to try and stop that. We also have what I call the, the, the social litterers. So people coming down to this beautiful beach, having a picnic and just standing up and walking away and leaving stuff on, on the beach. And again, very avoidable. We also have the probably more difficult task to deal with, which is the, the serial dumpers, the guys who uh, guys and girls who go up the countryside and dump black sacks. Uh, you know, around the place. And, and that's, a, that's a, a more difficult problem that really the council need to solve. We come across it occasionally, but not as much as the other uh, types. And then finally, it's probably the, the, the green bin uh, problem. Um, certainly green bins on windy days, people need to take more responsibility about securing lids and not putting bins out uh, so early. Uh, it would really help. We notice a huge amount of litter after a, a windy Friday. So we'd ask the public to, you know, work on those areas, the casual stuff, put it in your pocket. If the bins are full, and, and they can be full, and particularly with the good weather we're having and people are out, if they're, if they're full when you get to the council bin, bring the rubbish home with you or find another bin. Don't just leave it at the bin, uh, you know, because vermin and uh, seagulls are, are scattering it around, but be responsible for your litter. You brought it, let's bring it home. So we're very grateful to Fingal County Council. We have a very good relationship with them, getting bags and supplies and, and contacting the uh, operations to pick up litter and that. But none of this could be done really uh, without the help of all our volunteers. And as I say, we have a huge number of volunteers who give up Saturdays and midweek to make uh, Balbriggan beautiful. So really grateful to all of them and long may they continue to support us.